Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to I'm Possible channel. My name is Mark. In today's episode, I'm going to talk to you guys about uh, another way to use Suboxone. And this method is single high dose of Suboxone. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. <music> All right, welcome back guys. Uh, this video will be nice and short. And uh, just uh, as a disclaimer, I do not recommend the follow-up method, but uh, some people found success with this strategy and uh, I will kind of give you pros and cons about it. So a uh, single large dose of Suboxone um, is normally referred to as something over eight milligrams um, of Suboxone. Uh, it could be anywhere from 8 to 16 milligrams, depending, depending on which drug of choice uh, you are trying to quit. So the idea why a lot of people were asking about single large dose is because they're trying to cheat the system, basically, because they know that acute stage of withdrawal and acute meaning physical symptoms that you might be having, they usually last three to five days in order for you and again I already said it once I'll say it a few more times I do, I do not recommend this particular strategy why because Suboxone was actually designed to be tapered Suboxone's long half-life which is you know, 36 hours was designed for addicts to take it and eventually taper off it in addition, I believe that Suboxone is actually a drug that helps addicts get their life together. In other words, it was designed for you to start taking uh, something else instead of your drug of choice so you can slowly transition to clean and sober life. I don't believe that Suboxone is ideal for somebody who is taking, let's say, Vicodin for uh, the oral surgery for example Suboxone is ideal for those that have been addicted to an opiate and their life became a mess where, where their finances are struggling where their relationships are struggling where they can't hold a job where they uh, on the verge of being homeless that's why I think Suboxone is great because it gives you that chance to rebuild your life Using it one time may only benefit those that have been taking drug of choice and they develop physical dependency, you know, as prescribed. So doctors give them medication, they were taking it and uh, for three, four months, six months, and then they want to get off and they just don't want to deal with the discomfort that's associated with opiate withdrawal. That's what I'm trying to say. Those that have been addicted to the drug and they get it illegally, they don't get it prescribed and they've been addicted to this for years and uh, their life became dependent on getting the drug. I know, for example, people that I personally know, the entire day starts and ends with how to obtain the drug. You know, it includes lying, cheating, stealing, you name it. So those are the guys that should probably be um, on Suboxone for longer than one day. You know. Also, the reason why Suboxone has a you know, long half-life is for people to use it once a day and sort of not have any cravings or withdrawals or any discomfort for the entire day. But I don't want to talk about what Suboxone is. I'm sure you guys already know what it is and I don't want to make the video about that. The video is about single large dose so the best way to do it and again based on my research and as somebody have done it before unfortunately they relapsed a few weeks later for personal reasons but the best way to do it is you wait at least 24 to 48 hours sometimes somewhere in between uh, in my particular case my body was 42 hours in his into his withdrawal 
and then he started to take that large dose. Uh, and again, you don't want to take it all at once. You want to take it two milligram at a time, every 90 minutes. So you two milligrams and another two milligrams. So, so within the six hour window, he was, I think he took over eight milligrams. I think it was 12 milligrams he took. So what's the idea behind it? The idea is when you are waiting for, when you already patiently waited for 42 hours, let's say, like let's say the case with my buddy. If you manage to tough it out for 42 hours, you're almost like halfway in because um, the worst symptoms of acute stage started about day three. So it's about 72 hour mark. That's when the worst, the peak of the withdrawal. That's when you have the complete uh, restlessness, you have the diarrhea, vomiting, you know, everybody's different obviously, but uh, you basically demonstrate everything, every, you know, aches, you know, we can think of and in addition, of course, you have the cravings, the withdrawal, the, the you have the cravings, you have the depression, anxiety and everything else, you can't sleep, you, you sweat and then you have chills. So you already kind of like went through this and so the idea why people were talking about it is because basically if you take a large dose of Suboxone which has a long half-life the idea is to again cheat the the withdrawal part and let me tell you it did work for him in other words physically he did suffer for 42 hours but then when he took his 12 milligrams during the course of like six to eight hours he was fine obviously that day he was totally fine the next day and uh, the third day after taking suboxone it was already day five of the actual acute stage suboxone slowly leaves your system and then you are in the clear basically but again the reason why i don't recommend this is if you are taking opiates for more than a year and you developed a habit or addiction, Suboxone is only going to take care of your physical symptoms. But the worst part about any withdrawal, and you ask anybody, is not getting clean. It's about staying clean. So that's where the trick is. So in his particular case, he was actually dependent on uh, opiates for way more than a year. So taking one strip of Suboxone, yes, it did help him with physical part. But unless you're gonna go to like desert island where you, you're gonna be with a great support group, bunch of vitamins and minerals, and uh, there's no way for you to get any drugs, yes, that might work to, again, to cheat the system because you basically almost guaranteeing the worst part to be over. But again, it's not gonna be a completely uh, symptom free. You know, it's still gonna have some minors, you know, minor aches and some stomach problems probably, but nothing, nothing crazy. In most cases, those that have spoken to me about Suboxone, they all say that it's better to do it slowly and steadily. So you just have a plan, you don't deviate from that plan no matter how great or bad you know you feel you stick to your plan ideally you want to taper down by 25 percent every week and then you're going to win this battle now going back to the single uh, large dose of suboxone if you've been uh, using opiates and again this happens to many people where they had a surgery and complications happen and they had to take um, their you know oxy for let's say two months of course, you will develop physical dependency on the drug. You will have withdrawals. In that particular case, I probably would recommend, even though I'm not a doctor, but I would not be, you know, strongly against this. In this case, I probably would recommend taking a single large dose of Suboxone. All right, guys, I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel. The only way for this channel to grow and the only way for me to keep making this content is if you guys uh, subscribe, make comments, like, because I do want to see engagement and I really need your help with that. So if you don't mind, liking the video is 
doesn't cost you anything. Commenting doesn't cost you anything. So I would really appreciate if you help me make this channel grow because my goal is to help everyone live life a little better. You know, that's basically what it is. Uh, I'm trying to share my experiences. I want to build a community of people where we're all going to help each other out. And my main uh, focus is on personal development and growth, but I really feel like I owe it to the community of uh, recovering addicts uh, because I was able to learn so much from YouTube, from Reddit, from other forums when I needed help. So I kind of want to pay back the community. So I want to build a community and I want to answer questions that's on your mind. And please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. I will eventually leave my leave my phone number uh, down below so you guys can actually call me if you you know have any questions or whatever. Um, all right, guys, I'm gonna stop it right there. I'll see you in my next video and peace.